So remember when we hit 1 million Bitcoin inscriptions about three weeks ago? Well, just last night we hit 2 million. The parabolic growth is compounding and a large part of the recent growth seems to be driven by BRC20 tokens. Hey guys, DeFi Bay here back with another fun Bitcoin ordinal video. There's still so many opportunities to join in on the fun, to collect, to trade, and find gems. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the best tools and tips for navigating ordinals and finding potential gems. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe subscribe for more. All right, so let's get started. If we go directly to Domo's Ordinal's marketplaces on Dune Analytics, you can see that there's been about 71,000 some trades and these are all updated about five hours ago. So it's probably more than all these numbers you're seeing. It's aggregating from four places. So this is unique users by marketplace. I'm assuming these are users across all blockchains for the multi-chain platforms like Magic Eden because they are clearly number one. Emma and Open Ordex are close, second and third, and then you have Ordinal's Wallet and the rest. This is where Leonidas got the um, graph to show just how crazy the growth has been since the takeoff around February 9th. So we have surpassed 2 million inscriptions to date with over you know $5.8 million in fees alone in ordinals fees and what's interesting is before you had a lot of images and the, the early inscriptions were mostly images and now basically since april 23rd so roughly a week ago you have what i think is the brc20 um boom which is mostly text this is what brc20 is um, there's over 5,000 total with a market cap of about 48 million. So let me know if you want to learn more about BRC 20s because that's not within the scope of this video, but I wanted to mention that because of the huge burst of growth so much so that Grayscale is now tweeting about ordinals. This one they tweeted today. They're like ordinals have generated a great deal of attention in the crypto ecosystem by introducing NFT like assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. And I will link this page in the description below if you want to go through it yourself. Um, I do want to highlight, though, that they actually are pretty positive. They say, while some are critical of ordinals cautioning against bloating the blockchain or harming fungibility, we believe that ordinals represent one of the larger opportunities for Bitcoin adoption, especially as the Bitcoin network has historically been viewed as a rigid blockchain ecosystem. Okay, so let's start off with where to navigate. If you want something that's a bit safer, I would say this is probably the safest marketplace is Magic Eden on Bitcoin. If you've used Magic Eden before on Solana or Ethereum, you're pretty much familiar with the layout. The layout's the same as the other ones. You have the featured launchpad projects. You've got the popular collections that you can toggle between these different time frames. Um, you have the upcoming and live Magic Eden launchpad projects. Here you see whitelist mint live, public mint live, sold out. Um, you have inscri inscription clubs, which is how they have been categorizing some of these inscriptions based off the inscription numbers. Um, and the magic drops, which are public mints via direct listing by creator on Magic Eden. But because these are not launchpad vetted, D-Y-O-R. Um, you have new collections, you have latest sales, highest activity collections. These are updated every five minutes and the algorithm considers the last 24 hours of activity within a collection. You can easily just go through and look at this page and it tells you what the floor price is, the total volume, how many are listed, the range, which is obviously sub 10K. And once you hook up your wallet, you can, by the way, use any one of these three wallets, Xverse, Unisat, which is more for BRC20 tokens, and Hero. I personally like Hero. If you're not willing to run a full Bitcoin node or use a full-blown wallet like the Sparrow wallet, you want to be careful with what type of these other like browser extension wallets that you use because they're kind of like toy wallets in a sense. Like some of them are relatively new. They're still going through growing pains and hiccups and some of them don't have doxxed leaders or team members and others are closed source. So you really don't want to be trusting your valuable 
assets with closed source, undoxed projects. And then here you can go by activity. Uh, this one, for example, this one was a sub 5K inscription. And you can see that it was broadcast about nine hours ago. And if you click on it, it will take you to the mempool.space, which shows you the transaction, how much they paid in fees, um, the different features, and the flow diagram. So this is sort of like Etherscan, but for Bitcoin. The second one that I find really useful is bestinslot.xyz. This one is so easy to use. It basically helps anyone who's searching by inscription number. So for example, if I wanted to find something that was below 10,000, I can sort by the inscription number, by the floor price, seven day volume, which I find personally to be more useful than like a 24 hour snapshot. The number of seven day sales, how many are listed, well, this one you can't sort by, but it shows you how many are listed out of the total supply and the market cap, which is like the FDV, fully diluted value, not how much has actually been sold. Maybe you don't really wanna sort by this one yet. That's up to you. So this is best in slot. The next one that I wanted to share with you is called ordinalhub.com. Tell me we're in a male dominated space without telling me, right here. All right, so Ordinal Hub. This is very similar to Best in Slot, but the reason that I like it is it shows you percentage changes. So for example, you can sort by floor change percentage. Um, you can sort by percentage volume change. It also tells you what the USD value is. So you can also find sales average. These are all really helpful indicators for figuring out, you know, what you want to collect and what is a gem what could potentially be a gem i don't know how many of these are going to get added i don't know if at some point there will be a new category that's like less than 10 million and less than a billion i think that as the market gets flooded with inscriptions the smaller inscriptions are going to have are going to hold their value better but i also think just like we saw with the introduction of brc20 uh tokens that inscription number isn't going to be everything because it just can't otherwise there'll be no growth incentive for the inscription marketplace you know you can also go up here to trending to see what sort of collections are trending and they have different tags for you know categories you can sort through up here there's also a blog where they teach you how to how to use ordinal hub to the full extent like setting up their sales bot for your Discord, which I might look into later on, so we'll see. All right, now this one I think is really interesting. It's not exactly like the two before. This one's called generative.xyzai, and this is more of like generative art on ordinals. You've got you know, a portrait of neural networks, you have a white paper, you have on-chain AI models. Now they have upgradable digital artifacts which is percep perceptrons, perceptrons, perceptrons. Oh, it doesn't quite roll off the tongue. So this is the white paper for it. Um, you can read it on your own if you're into generative AI, generative art. The cool thing about this is that I haven't seen a lot of my feed talk about this. So I think there's a bit of unexplored territory here, a bit of unexplored marketing, if you will. If this can be anywhere as popular as art blocks on Ethereum, then you have massive potential. Plus, AI generative art is pretty cool. You can sort by art, generative art, and these are all in Bitcoin. Some of them are still minting, which is really cool. You can click on AI, which is the perceptrons. You can also click on metaverse, the M word. Um, And I don't really quite know what this is yet, but let's get on the allow list. Cool, now we're on the allow list. And then they have Pro. 
buy art on Bitcoin, simple, fast, zero fees. There's even a part on the top where it says trustless computer, write smart contracts on Bitcoin. So if you wanted to write smart contracts on Bitcoin, here's another place. My point being, there's so many different use cases just exploding on the scene for what was uh, historically considered a very rigid and simple blockchain. And we're seeing those views being challenged and being challenged pretty quickly. I mean, it was only about four months ago that ordinals really exploded and took off on the scene. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe because that's the only way the algorithm will notice me. And if you have any other tools or tips, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Otherwise than that, I will see you in the next video.